In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install Optifine 1.19.2 and how to fix any issues that you might have along the way, because I have heard that many of you are having trouble to get this working. So don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix it and also how to add shaders. As you can see, we have shaders right now. I'm going to teach you how to do that, how to add shaders. So let's get started. And just before we get started with the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install Optifine 1.19.2, I have to let you know about Minecraft Apex Hosting. Now, I'm not a sponsor by Minecraft Apex Hosting, but I will leave you a link right now in the description, which will give you 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, look no further. I personally run my Bedrock server with Apex Hosting and besides all the great advantages that they provide you with, what I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you could actually access a server console through your phone and you could change the settings of your server through your phone, which I think is amazing. It is an affiliate link, but I'm recommending Apex Hosting because a lot of people usually ask, how do you make a server? And I think this is the easiest way to make a Minecraft server. Anyways, let's move on with the tutorial. Now, step number one is to actually just open your Minecraft launcher, right? Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher, select latest release right here. As you can see, we have the latest release and go ahead and click on play. Now, this is is a step that we need to do to actually just make sure that when we install Optifine, we install it on the 1.19.2 release, right? So make sure you select 1.19.2 release. When I click on play, let it load. And once it loads, you could go ahead and close out from the game and make sure that you close out from the launcher because if you don't close from the launcher, it's actually going to give you trouble when installing Optifine 1.19.2. Now, the next step is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you over here to a written guide on how to download and install Optifine. If you like to read and look at the screenshots, this is the place for you. But if you're just here to watch the video and install Optifine, with the video, then once you're here in the second link, go ahead and click where it says download Optifine here, which will redirect you to the Optifine website. Now, as you can see, it says 1.19.2, which is good. We're in luck, but there's a chance when you come over here, maybe it's 1.19.3, 1.20, or a different Minecraft version. If that's the case, just go ahead and click where it says show version and find 1.19.2 right here. Anyways, once you have find the right one, go ahead and click on download, and that is going to redirect you over here where you're not going to click anything, but you're going to wait five seconds. In five seconds, a button in the top right will appear and the button will be labeled a skip as you can see right now there we go go ahead and click on a skip now that is finally going to redirect you over here where we could finally download optifine go ahead and click on download it's going to start the download automatically for optifine it's going to do, go to your downloads folder in my case it's asking me where to save it but for you it's probably going to download it straight away and what i'm going to do is actually drop this file into the desktop let's let me make this a little bit smaller there we go i'm going to drag and drop this file into the desktop and i do recommend that you do the same to follow along with this tutorial anyways let's wait for that to finish downloading there we go and now obviously since we're installing optifine we need to try some shaders with Optifine. So I'm going to download some shaders in this tutorial. Go ahead and click on the third link in the description. We're going to download complementary shaders. One of my favorite shaders by far. Well, if you don't know, these shaders actually make the ores shiny. They make the ores shine and give you light, which I think is beautiful. If you want to follow along and use the same shaders that I'm going to use, go ahead and click on the third link in the description and download complementary shader. This is our written guide on how to do that. But in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how. Just click on this button that is going to redirect you to the first source website, where you're going to scroll down a little bit and look for the game version that we're installing in this case is 1.19.2 then you're going to click download file, which is then going to redirect you over here. And in five seconds, the download will start automatically. This is for those of you that want to follow along and use the same shaders. However, you are welcome to use whatever shaders you prefer. As you can see, the shaders already downloaded, and I'm going to go ahead and drop them into the desktop. Again, downloading shaders is not necessary, but I'm going to do it just to show you guys how the shaders look and how you could add shaders to Optifine later on. Once we have Optifine the installer and we have complementary shaders, we're almost ready to start. But before we do start, I want you to check what Java version you're using. Keep in mind, that Minecraft 1.16.5 and above will require you to have at least Java 17. Now, don't get confused, okay? Java is a program that you need for Minecraft Java to work because a lot of people get confused and they're like, what's Java? Why is it Minecraft Java and then Java? They're two different programs and Minecraft Java needs Java to work, okay? So how do you check what Java you have? Go ahead and click where it says type here to search type auto remove programs go ahead and open auto remove programs and in here you're going to click search this list and you're going to type java as you can see i have java 17th already installed you could have java 17th or 18th they will both work but if you have java 8 or java 7th i'm afraid optifine might not work properly so what you're going to do in case you have a different java in here you're going to click on it and i recommend that you uninstall it in order to install a new one and i'm also going to show you how to install java from scratch in case you come over here and you don't have any java at all so once you see that you don't have any java or you got rid of your older java go ahead and close it and then click on the fourth link in the description. By the way, if you already have Java 17th or 18th, you're going to skip this part and go to the next step. But for those of you, which is going to be a lot of you that won't have Java, you're going to click on the fourth link in the description, which will bring you to our reading guide on how to download and install Java. Again, you can read through it, look at the screenshots, great job in here in this tutorial. But the main thing here is to click where it says download Java here. That is going to redirect you to this website where we're going to scroll down and select Java 17th. Now in here, you're not going to click download yet because this is Linux. You're going to click Windows. Once you select Windows, go ahead and select the x64 installer, the one in the middle, and click on this little blue line 
which is going to start the download immediately. In my case, it's asking me where I want to save it, but for you, it's going to download automatically because most likely you have it set up the right way. Once you have Java 17 or a file called JDK 17, go ahead and drop it into the desktop. Now we have the installer for Java, we have the installer for Optifine, and we have some shaders to try out the tutorial. We could pretty much start installing everything. Go ahead and double click on JDK 17. And once you double click on JDK 17, you'll be prompted with the administrator sign. And that is going to bring you over here once you allow it to run, where you're going to click next the next and that is going to start the installation for Java 17. Like I said, this is required for any Minecraft above 1.16.5, any modded Minecraft, I should say, to work and Optifine its modded Minecraft. So you pretty much need to update your Java. Once we install Java, go ahead and click on close. That's the sign saying that Java is all successful. Go ahead and delete the installer. And now we have Optifine and complementary shaders. What we're going to do now is launch the Optifine installer. But before I go ahead and launch it, I know a lot of you might say that you don't see this copying here or when you double click on the installer, it doesn't launch the installer. That is because you Need to update your jar files after installing java this is a jar file this optifine installer if you click on it as you can see the name says jar at the end that is a jar file in case that jar file is not working for you you just need to run a jar fix running a jar fix is really simple and i'm going to leave you a guide in the description right below the link for java there's going to be a link for this guide on how to run a jar fix like you can see it's three steps it's super simple and that might help some of you fix the issue where you can open the installer anyways most of us will be able to open the installer after installing java what we're going to do is double click on the installer now just go ahead and double click it and that is Going to launch an installer for Optifine. In here, we're going to click install. We're just going to wait for that to install. It shouldn't take that long. As you can see, Optifine is already installed. Go ahead and click on OK. And you could even delete the jar file now. And we're pretty much almost done. What we're going to do now is launch our Minecraft launcher. After we install Optifine, just go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher. And if you install Optifine 1.19.2 successfully, you should see Optifine 1.19.2 selected automatically in the launcher. As you can see, we have it already selected automatically as soon as I open the launcher. In case Optifine is not showing for you down there, what you're going to do is click on installations and make sure that modded is selected. If that still doesn't fix it for you, clicking modded doesn't show Optifine. Just click on new installation and search for Optifine in here. As you can see, release 1.19.2 Optifine. Go ahead and click on it. You can name this whatever you want, really. Just Optifine if you want, and then click create here in the bottom right, as you can see down here. And that is going to create an instance with Optifine. That is for those of you that couldn't get Optifine to appear right away. And for most of you, Optifine will work right away. And what we're going to do is click play. And I'm going to show you real quick. Well, go ahead and click that you understand the risk. And I'm going to show you real quick how to add the shaders once you have Optifine open. And as you can see, Minecraft has now opened and it says Minecraft 1.19.2 modded. That's how we know that we installed Optifine successfully. And another way to check is to click on options, click on video settings. And as you can see, these video settings look completely different than regular Minecraft. And we have a new option called shaders, which is the option that we actually want to use in this tutorial, or if you want to add shaders, right? So what you're going to do to add the shaders is just click on this shaders option and you're going to click on shaders folder. By the way, in here, you're probably not going to see anything. This is going to say just off and nothing else. There you go. I went ahead and got rid of all the shaders and this is probably how it's going to look for you and in order to add shaders what you're going to do is click on shaders folder that is going to open this folder app that is going to be completely empty and what we're going to do here is drag and drop our complementary shader that we downloaded earlier in this tutorial go ahead and drag and drop it in there now we have shaders in go ahead and open minecraft back up i just minimized it real quick and as you can see we have complementary shaders now in the shaders option i'm going to go ahead and select it once you click on the shaders it might take a little bit to load just give it some time don't freak out it might freeze the game for a while don't click anything just wait for the game to finish loading once we have the complementary shader selected go ahead and click on done 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 and now we could launch a world and test out our shaders that's what i'm going to do i'm going to launch a regular world and as you can see when i launch the world we have optifine working everything is loading up just give it some time because i'm in the sky right now to show you guys how everything look but yeah we have optifine working and something that i personally love about optifine besides all the advantages that it provides you with like fixing your settings to make the game run faster is that you could press c and zoom in. And that is pretty much, guys, how to install Optifine and how to get it working and how to add shaders to it. I hope this tutorial helped you. And if it did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.